Hello, LCBTs. I'm not your enemy necessarily, but I can be. I have nothing against homosexuals. I have nothing against um, people loving people from the same gender. I have nothing against people who want to be transgender. I have nothing against black people or Roman for that example. I have nothing against you. At least not more than uh, people who are heteros. But I have something against hypocrites. That I introduced myself a little bit to you. I am vegan for around the half of my life now. More than 10 years. So take a wrong number. For the people who don't know what veganism is, veganism is a way of life that tries to treat other animals as equally as possible to the homo sapien. I cannot speak it out completely since I consider it to be iron. I've made a video about that if you want to check that out. In the description and in the comment section and maybe I put a link there. But furthermore, if you're asking for compassion and respect from other living legal persons and you are not considered to give this back to innocent different beings how I found hard you in your whole life, I consider then you to be a hypocrite. And if you are a hypocrite, if you ask me, it is unfair to ask for something you are not willing to give. It is inconsistent. And that specific part of you, if you are an LGBT person, how is not vegan, but do I absolute and not respect? And I don't have to respect if you can follow me. The animal agriculture industry is the most biggest cost of global warming with 51% of all the greenhouse gas emissions worldwide come from animal agriculture. Check out World Watch Institute for that static and the World Bank for the static that the animal agriculture is responsible for at least 91% of all the deforestation um, of this is 70% to 75% of um, cattle ranching and why should you care about that now first you are not in the majority. Secondly, the deforestation and the acidification of the oceans also are very bad for the future generations of your own species. Without the rainforest and without the oceans to produce oxygen, there will be no life on the planet. And in the 50, last 50 years, because of animal agriculture and fishing, around 40% um, of all the phytoplankton are disappeared. Um, that means also that close to 50% of all the oxygen on the planet is disappeared in a short 70 years. That is this extremely embarrassing. 
How can we claim to be sapiens? Wise. And cl care, claim to care about equality and justice. The whole environment. When we destroying the oceans, when we destroying the life habitats of billions and billions of innocent living beings, and when we holocaust also billions and billions of innocent living beings, any year by the animal agriculture industry, in one year alone, around 70 billion wet animals and 2.8 trillion marine animals are brutally massacred for a um, taste pleasure. Something so inexcusable as that. And those animals have nothing harmed you ever in your whole life. You claim always to be so morally high you are lgbt people you say that you are no right from wrong but when you can you claim to no right from wrong when you are being responsible or also responsible for the greatest massacre on the whole planet get a reality check people talking nice is not a complete picture is talking nice and friendly don't change the world necessarily and 100% not alone. Actions do. The Allied forces break down and destroy places like Bergenau and Auschwitz and killed also Nazi soldiers. How don't surrender? In uh, India, it was not only. Uh, the pacifists and protests of Gandhi how give um, India independence from the British and before of that from the Ottoman warlords, the Dali Sultanate. No, it was the f force of the people. It was the force of justice. In that time, there was not only the pacifist way, and so was not in Africa. You also have in Africa, you have a large group of violent guerrilla warfare people. And in India, you have the quit Indian movement. Both groups are using guerrilla warfare. Tactics that until the day of today still are considered to be terrorist acts by most governments. Guerrilla warfare, by the way, is the use of military like tactics by not governmental institutions. If you truly care about justice, what if you want to make this world better, you must go vegan. What black people have done um, with whites in the Middle East and American whites have done with blacks is basically the same thing that um, we do to the other animals. My despicable species do to the other animals. And I say despicable because I watched it from the victim's point of view. Something I think you also can understand since you have been oppressed in a certain matter. At least that's what you claim. And if you ask me if you understand how it be to be treated lesser. If you know how it feels to be treated like second class. You for a bit can understand how it feels to be an animal in the animal agriculture industry. Force it into an, a concentration camp. Separate it from your mother. How screams 
four months for your to give him back to her. And then when you reach execution age, slaughter age, process age, or how does a process want to call it? There are you being hang upside down, your throat is cut, or somebody shoot a bullet in your head and turns you into food. You can make a difference. Stand up. You can fight against the root of all discrimination. I know what it is. It is anthropocentrism. It is carnism. It is speciesism. Anthropocentrism is an ideology based on us. It places uh, us on the top of the in anything uh, on the top of the evolutionary world. If you ask me, we are in many places uh, of that evolutional place lower than bacteria, since bacteria are very important for the ecosystem. They are responsible for many functions in our body, actually, also. Did you know that you have more bacteria in your lung, in your whole body, than you have um, humid cells? The average person of 70 kilograms have around 70 trillion bacteria uh, cells. Of that are 40 trillion bacteria and 30 trillion hominids. Um, stop claiming you are so important. It is time to rip off that anthropocentric mask, people. And accept that if you want to be treated fairly, if you want to get my respect and the respect of all people who care about justice and logic, you go vegan. I don't despise you because you are LGBT, gay, um, hetero. I don't care about if you are black or a trans person or you want to be considered um, it or um, there. The only thing I care about, if you are not causing unnecessary harm, and that's what you are doing, causing unnecessary harm when you are not a vegan. Peace begins on the detail. By what you eat on a daily basis. When darkness and light become one, the reality is split in a way and the true become visible.